elaborating on the quality of the show, how it's, you know, a beautiful, beautiful show so far? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, considering what we're going through as far as the pandemic is concerned, um, the numbers aren't what I wanted, but the quality is way past what I expected. So, I mean, I think maybe 75% of these guys can go to the Nationals and do really, really well. So um, I'm, 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 I'm super happy. I mean, for these guys really worked hard, 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 hard. And I'm so proud of each and every one of them. Thinking your sponsors as well. Um, yeah. Talk about them a little bit. Um, we got a few. We got quite a few sponsors. Um, we got Hustle Apparel. They've been with me for ever since we started doing the show in Galveston. Um, we've got the Fitness Wife, who's actually my wife, who makes meals. Uh, we've also got the Whitening Lab, which is a tooth whitening tooth whitening company. Um, we've got Powerhouse Powerhouse Gym, who man he sets up the pump up room for us, which is phenomenal. Um, they don't even have this on the pro level, man. When I was competing, even now, I know they don't have a power up, uh, pump up room like that. Um, we also have uh, Gorilla Games, which is an apparel company. And it's, it's, it's a, quite a few, I, I don't remember them all. But I'm just so thankful that they stepped up. And because without them, these shows wouldn't be possible, man. For nobody, I don't care who you are or what promoter you are, your sponsors make the show. It's not you. Is the sponsors? How has your wife helped with the show? Oh, my wife is the sh is the show. <laughs> Honestly, um, I stepped up a little bit more this year to help out, and I realized after taking on some of the responsibility that she's been doing over the years that man, she's phenomenal. I mean, she's she does event planning for a living, which makes it you know a little bit easier for her, but the nuts and bolts are everything all of the logistics of the show are all her and I'm, I'm just so grateful that she stepped up to do it because she didn't have to I mean I would I could have hired somebody but no she put her flavor on it and I'm, I'm so happy so I, I, I couldn't be happier with the way everything turned out have you ever had to describe the Muscle Beach Classic to someone who's never been to it before or never been to an NPC show how would you describe it? I would describe an experience at the Muscle Beach Classic as you, you'd have to actually be here to see it and to understand it. Um, because we're, we're growing as a sport. So a lot of people, you know, mainstream media doesn't really cover us much. I mean, way back in the day they used to, but now we're hardly getting any coverage. But if, if it was a new person coming in, there's something in this show for everybody. There's a category for everybody, young, old, you name it. So you got bikini, you got wellness. We have a category that fits every walk of life if you want to get on that stage. And so I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with what the NPC has done over the years. I've been involved with the NPC for 37 years. Um, so I watched it when it was just bodybuilding and bodybuilding. There was nothing else. And to watch all these categories grow over the last 37 years has been amazing. What's going on in the other ballroom? Uh, we've got the um, Armored Combat League over there. And they're just over there beating the hell out of each other. Basically, it's uh, they're dressed up in, in, in medieval armor. And they have the same weapons that they had back in those times. And it's basically a no holds barred. They've got a few rules. Um, but for the most part, there's no rules. All, all goes. So, I'm, I'm fortunate to have them as part of this, this uh, show this year. Oh uh, yeah, I, I want to thank everybody um, for being here. I mean, like I said earlier, th this is my one-year celebration of being cancer-free, and um, like I told them last year, I was here. But I was here, but I wasn't here. Um, I was in a lot of pain, and I was actually getting uh, taking getting IVs in between. Um, classes and people didn't know that you know but um I just didn't want to miss the show man I mean for, for any reason I was I'm grateful to be alive and I just want to see these guys do their hard work but today is a celebration for not only them because they get to eat but they get to celebrate with me because it's my one year and and if I can make it man if I'm I, I'm grateful for every day now I take no days for granted so I, I'm just thankful for everybody that's being here and taking the time out to 
support me and to support these guys.